Shout out to all my players, pimps, and simps. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance. Um, today, man, it's, it's something I need. We, we, I don't know how I didn't do this video sooner. I should have been did this video. But um, it's about time that I, I, I've done a video like this. Because some of you guys got to know some of this stuff, man. This is some... This is some high, some high quality elite game that I'm about to drop on y'all. So um, if you didn't get the ebook, man, the ebook is on sale for $15. It's stop getting left on red, get news instead. It's in, you can click the link in my bio and it takes you straight to the website to get it, man. This ebook has been selling like hotcakes. I haven't had not one complaint yet. It's been dropping some some hot, heavy, potent, just fire game. And I'm telling you, it would it would transform your whole Texan life in your life. Just on Texan. Cause like I said, most of the communication that we're gonna be doing with women is through text and on the phone. So if you're having a problem with texting women, then you, my friend, need to get the ebook. But if $15 is too much for you, dog, then keep your money, man. You probably shouldn't even be worried about no damn women in the first place. But let's get into the game today. So today we're gonna talk about the seven signs that you are signaling to everybody that you are thirsty. Now, let me just say this. Let me just go on this little rant. Being thirsty is a state of being. We are called human beings, which means we become things. You can become a CEO. You can become an author. You can become an alpha male. You can become a beta male. You can become a football player. These are all beings, which means that they all have a specific li specific lifestyle. Being When you're being thirsty, you have the li lifestyle of a thirsty man. That means that you talk like someone who's thirsty. You vibrate on the frequency of someone who is thirsty. That means that you have the thoughts and the actions of someone who is thirsty. Thoughts equal words, which equals action. See, a lot of dudes who are thirsty end up coming over to a lot of um, a lot of dating coaches, and they they make this they make the mistake of thinking that game is getting women when when you really when it really boils down to it it's really not about women at all it's really more about just being a centered man being a man who, who has a purpose and honestly the women are just bait to get you guys to be better men you know what i'm saying because women are nothing more than a byproduct and this is why that when you guys who are thirsty that come over here and learn game and it still don't work for you is because you're, 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 you're doing games from a thirsty standpoint. You're still that thirsty guy internally. So when somebody be like, oh, go 10 days without texting, you're doing it from a thirsty standpoint, which is why it doesn't work for you. You're doing it as a strategy. You're not doing it as somebody who's genuine and it's a lifestyle. You're actually doing it for an outcome. That's thirsty. See, there's two types of men who come over here on my page. There's one type of man who comes over here to learn strategies. He tries to learn strategies and hopes to get some vagina. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other type of guy who comes over here, he comes over here to learn a lifestyle. He wants to become the man that women flock to. He wants to become the man that's not thirsty anymore. He wants to be free from the, the guy that he used to be who put women on a pedestal or was thirsty the other guy doesn't want to be free from being thirsty. he wants to learn game and still be thirsty and still get women but it doesn't work that way but i'm done ranting on that's gonna be a whole nother topic 
But um, let's get into the signs that you are thirsty. And the first sign is thirsty body language. Easy one. When you're out and about, you probably at the mall or something. If you're always looking around and it say it's just it's, it's girls with big, big booties all around you. And you just looking at all of them. Every time a girl walk past you twisting and turning, turning your neck. That's the habit of a thirsty person. You're giving off thirsty vibes. When you're talking to a woman, and let's say you're out on a date with her, and she's talking, and you're leaned in, and she's leaned back, that's thirsty body language. I remember, man, I used to be so thirsty at a time, man, that it would be like, let's say I'm in a library or something, and I'm doing some work, and let's say a pretty woman would come in. Like, I would be so thirsty. My my body language would be so thirsty that my body language would be pointing in the woman that I'm attracted to's direction, but I'm trying to act like I'm doing something else. I know I've known that you a, a lot of guys we we do that too. Like subconsciously we end up doing it. Like our body language be pointed towards someone that we're attracted to, but we're scared to go talk to them. But that, the reason why that's thirsty is because I should have been in the moment on what I was doing in that moment. Like if I was in the library and I was studying or whatever, I should my, my body language and my, my subconscious shouldn't be pointing to this beautiful woman. If I wanted to go talk to her, I should have just went to go talk to her. I should have been sitting down, body language pointed to what I'm doing, being in the moment, what I'm doing, studying with what I'm doing. That's attractive. That's attractive. Now, even if that woman don't understand that my body language is pointed to her and I'm on a subconscious level, I'm attracted to her. She can still feel my energy on a subconscious level. She can still feel the thirstiness on a subconscious level, but we're not going to go too much in the science of that. You should always be in the moment of whatever you're doing. If you're walking up the street, you should just be, your head should just be straight. You shouldn't be twisting and turning, looking at everything, looking to see if it's a beautiful woman everywhere. You shouldn't be keep checking your phone, hoping this girl texts you back. That's just thirsty. This is what thirsty guys do. Remember, thoughts equal words, which equals action. If you have the thoughts of a thirsty man, you're going to have the words of a thirsty man. And then you're going to have the actions of a thirsty man. Thirsty body language is the actions of a thirsty man. Just be cool. The second sign that you are thirsty is that you complain about your love life. So basically, you're the guy who, when you go out and you're talking to a girl, and let's say you're talking to a girl and she has a boyfriend and she's talking about her her a-hole boyfriend, and then you're that guy who's like, see, this is why you need you need a guy like me. And I see, I would never do that, but every time I'm the nice guy, and then you just you're just going on and on about how you're the nice guy and women don't appreciate you, women don't like you. You're coming across as thirsty. You're ba- this is basically a cry for help. And what you're looking for is you're looking to get pity sex. You want pity vagina. For one, nobody cares. This makes you very unattractive. Because what you have to understand is that women don't like men that other women don't like. So when you're complaining about women, you're only complaining about women because you can't keep women. You can't get a woman. You're always talking about how the bad boys do this and do that. The other thing that you have to understand is that what you deem attractive doesn't mean a woman deems that attractive. So basically, if you think it's logic to think that if you put a woman on a pedestal, you'd be nice to her, you give her this stuff like that. That's what's supposed to be attractive. But women and men don't think the same. And why should we? We shouldn't. Just because you think that's what a woman should think that's... Uh, just because you think that's what a woman should deem attractive, that, that does not mean that's what she deems attractive. Women don't think the same way we do. They don't talk the same way we do. They don't... They, their emotions aren't the same as our emotions. They don't see the world the same way we do. They're not even built the same way we are. So you shouldn't be worried about, or you should, but you shouldn't be trying to 
project what you think is attractive onto women. This is why a lot of you guys end up going into that red pill rage and that hate for women because you think you are looking at women through the eyes of us. And that's not how that's not how it works. It's the same way like how when women they get these they, they they're their own boss and they start getting money and they got all the degrees and stuff like that and they think that's supposed to make them attractive. No, that doesn't make them attractive. Maybe to some beta males who want to leech off of them or something like that. That might be make them attractive, but it doesn't make them attractive because we don't even see attraction the same way they do. All this is making sense to y'all, but stop complaining about your dating life, man. Nobody gives a fuck. Excuse me. Nobody, nobody cares. You're coming off across thirsty. And nobody, nobody wants to be around somebody who complain. And no woman wants a man who is thirsty. The third sign that you are thirsty is you're learning game and you're doing the opposite. See, actually, this is the number one sign that you are thirsty. Because it's like, I'm giving you the answer key. I'm giving you answers to the test. And you're still failing the test. Like, that, it's almost a level of insanity. A level of retardation. A level of stupidity. Because if I'm giving you the answers, how are you still failing the test? Now, it's one thing to be failing sometimes. You're making mistakes here and there. But when you keep repeatedly failing, that says something about you. Especially when you know better. When you actually know better. They say intelligence isn't just knowing knowledge. Intelligence is knowing knowledge, but also applying that same knowledge. See, what happens with a lot of you guys is you get on here, you learn all this game, and you try to do it for a short period of time. You try to learn game for a short period of time because you're so thirsty. You, you've been caught up into the microwave age. And then the minute that you get in front of a pretty face, a nice body, or just a woman that you like, you throw all the game out the window. You throw all the game out the window. Which is why this has got to be the most thirstiest. This, this is why it's the most thirstiest because you know better. It's different when you don't know better, but when you actually know better, it's different. Do better. The fourth sign that you are thirsty is that you don't have any idea what to ask a woman. See, the reason why you don't have an idea on what to ask women, what questions to talk about, I mean, what questions to ask, what to talk about, is because you don't actually care to get to know the woman. See, you're so worried about getting the sex fast that you can care less what you're about to hit. You can care less about the woman. And see, it's not even about being moral and actually caring about the woman. It's the fact that when you're an alpha male, a high value man, or whatever you want to call it, you don't just stick your Johnson into anything without knowing what you're about to stick your Johnson into. And see this also, when you're asking women questions, this also puts a woman into the, the friends with benefits category, the one night stand category, or the I'm not going to touch this at all category. It can possibly even put her into the, she could be a long-term woman, or a, a marriage material. This is how you find all of this stuff out, but you can't find all of this out if you're just thirsty, if you're a guy who's just gonna hit anything. See, a millionaire, he's not gonna, he has a number in his head of how much that he's gonna take and how much he's willing to walk away from. And that's why he's a millionaire, because he knows he has an idea of what he's going to, he, what, what type of money he wants. A poor person will take any type of money because they're poor, they're desperate. They'll take pennies, nickels, dimes. They'll take anything because they're so desperate and thirsty for money. That's what you are basically, that's, that's basically what you are in a dating world. You're a poor man. You'll take anything that just look good. You'll just hit anything. No matter if, 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 she, got a, if she got a big booty, big boobs, she look good, you'll just hit it because of that. You don't care what's internal. You don't care if she got STDs. You don't care if she got trauma. You don't care if you hit this. She might blow your, your windows out, your car out. You don't care. You just so controlled by sex. 
In high value men, they're picky with women, which is why they have to ask questions to put them in those categories. High value men don't just touch anything. What was that? But yeah, you have to ask women questions, man. And I'm actually gonna even be, I'm actually gonna be doing an audio gram on the questions that you need to ask women. And it's gonna be talking about the questions that you need to ask. And they're gonna be emotionally stimulating questions that or get the woman to feel like that you got to know her because a lot of women not going to just give you sex without feeling like they got to know you. And if you understand women too, a woman can feel like she got to know you just by talking your head off about herself. You know, women tell on themselves because they talk so damn much and you can get questions out of them that you need to get out of them. So you don't wait until, you know, 10 months into the relationship and then now she's telling you stuff that if you would have known in the beginning you would have never even dealt with her and these are going to be the questions that's going to be in my audio program but we're we going to talk about that much more later all right i think we're on number five and i'm gonna speed up on these ones because i've been talking too long so um number five is if you'll have sex with anything um like i said before High value men, alpha males, they don't just have sex with anything because they have standards. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to go too deep into that. Um, seven, when you go out, you are always looking for women. If your life consists around women, that's because you don't have any women. You go out, you always looking for women. Now, if you have women and you still do that, then I mean, you probably just a sex addict or something, man, you know, or you don't have any purpose. You know, I, I, there's some guys out here who don't have any purpose, but have a whole bunch of women. And, it, and some guys like that, actually, you know. I know some guys like that. But um, that, that's, 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 that's considered thirsty. Um, you need to have a specific time when you have like a boys night out. Or when you just go up by yourself, you're not looking for no women. You're just going out to enjoy your own company. Or you stand in and just enjoy your own company. Like I have some days where no women just come over. I'm going to end up having a week where women don't even come over. Like, no woman come over the whole week and I just work. I'm going to end up having a week like that. So, um, and which one? The next one is asking women, do she have friends? Like, say if your homeboy brings his girl over and you over here, yo, you got any friends? You got any other friends, man? Bring your friends. And you, you steady asking, especially if she come over all the time and you steady asking this question. No girl wants to put her friends on with a thirsty guy. No girl is gonna, and no girl is gonna do that. You know, you know why most girls say, oh, I don't have any friends because they don't want to put you, your thirsty ass on to her friends. So stop doing that. Now, it's okay to ask, you know, hey, yo, you got some friends, but if you're one of those guys who's steady asking that question, no, no, no. And honestly, you sh that shouldn't be the first thing that you even ask, like one of your homeboy's girls or his best friend or whatever. It don't matter. You shouldn't even be asking that sometimes. You should already have women. You shouldn't even be worried about that. And last but not least, uh, I'm going to say this number eight. If you can't sacrifice women, like if I told you to go outside and get five women number and I told you to delete four of those women numbers after you just got it and you couldn't do that, that's because you are thirsty. You're a guy that needs to hang on to that. You can't give a, you can't get something until you're able to sacrifice that thing. Like for an example, to be able to make money, you have to spend it. You have to sacrifice that money in hopes that more money is going to come back to you. Knowing that more money is going to come back to you. It's the same thing with women. When you go out there and you sacrifice women, you are training your brain to think that you can get more women. When you go out there, you get four numbers and you can't sacrifice those, it's because you believe on a subconscious level that you can't get any more women. Because you are thirsty. Oh, no, man, it's the only ones that I can get. No. Sacrifice. You have to be able to sacrifice. You have to be able to go out and know any time that, that you can delete any woman, no matter how big her boobs is, her butt is, you know that you can delete her or you can walk away from her. You're not controlled by vagina. You have to get rid of your sex addiction. But um, 
that's all the game I'm gonna give y'all for today, man. If you haven't got my ebook, stop leaving. Uh, stop. Well, shoot, I forgot my whole ebook uh cover. Oh, it's um stop getting left on red. Get news instead, man. Get the ebook. It's in my bio. You go to my website. It's on there for $15. Do not get it off Amazon if you're not trying to pay 20 something dollars for that. I'm telling you, do not do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm coming out with a new audio program on teaching you guys conversation skills and the questions to ask. And I, I've already went, I already went deep into it in this uh, in this podcast. So um, that's it for today. Um, I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance, man. If you still don't know what to put in the chat, man, put that down. If you made it this far, it's because you're a real player, bro. Real talk, man. Real talk. But, um, peace, y'all.